Might as well take these off. I'm not listening to myself. This is a real quick shout out to a friend on Facebook and someone I watch on YouTube, Ms. Beautiful Alicia. She posted a video, the link will be in the crop pot below, where she was having an emotional time dealing with her weight loss. Yes, Alicia, it's very, very common. I weighed 412 pounds in 2003 in March. I had my gastric bypass in March. And I lost down to where I'm probably about 220 right now. I've still got about 20, 22 pounds to go to get down to the goal I want to get so I can get my knee replaced. But my RMY was kind of not as long as other people's because they felt like I didn't have as much weight to lose. But I too was dying. I was on 80 units of insulin twice a day. I walked out of the hospital two days after surgery on no insulin. I've had no diabetic medicine since. My blood pressure is a chronic thing that runs in the family. So until I quit smoking and started vaping, it stayed high. But, um, I just want to say, I'm so proud of you. You're doing so great. And once you get the skin removed, which I've got to go through another round of that, you know, got some removed after I lost like 160 pounds. I had to get it removed because it was hanging to my knees. And I just want to say that I am proud of you. you come a long way. And once you get the skin done and everything, fight to get that done. Once you get that done, you're going to be so proud of yourself and feel so awesome. When I realized I lost weight, do you know what it took? It took me going and getting a new driver's license picture. And I compared them walking out and I went, oh my God, I have lost weight. Because every time I looked in the mirror, I still saw the fat girl. You know, and I'm still a fat girl, but I'm proud of me. I'm proud of my weight. You know, it's not a big thing. But you go, girl, and all you people that thumbs down her video ought to kiss somebody's ass. Y'all can go fuck yourselves. Because what she's done takes a lot of willpower and a lot of emotional toll on you. Because you don't realize... How emotional you get when all you can eat is one of those little medicine cups like they have at the hospital. Full of broth or full of jello. That's your meal. You can't drink while you eat with an R and Y. You know, you can eat only a little. I still can only eat little portions. I can eat more than I did coming out of surgery. But I still, if I eat too much, it's going to come back. It's going to come back to haunt you every time. You know, one bite too many, if you don't throw it up, it's going to hurt for hours. Sugars are completely off limits because they will make you sicker than a dog. And believe it or not, the first month out of surgery, I wanted a fresh strawberry so, so bad. I took one bite. It was a night from hell. I can eat them now with no problem, but back then... That first bite, they didn't warn me. And she said, oh, a lot of people have problems with certain foods like strawberry. You know, well, yeah, I did. You know, fresh fruit seemed to be my downfall. A lot of people have problems with meat. Chicken and stuff like that. Things we're supposed to eat, the protein. But, Alicia, I just want to say again, I am so, so proud of you. You are doing so great to take charge and live your life, not only to lose weight, but to vape, which is healthier for you than smoking. And I'm very, very proud of you, and I wish you the best of luck. And all you haters can go fuck yourselves. That's our something signing out.